Welcome back, adventurers, to the Total Party Kitchen, a show where we make all the recipes in the Heroes Feast Dungeons & Dragons cookbook. Now, it's been a while since we've put a video out uh, due to COVID and restrictions and you know, just general safety. We kind of put this on hiatus, but it's something that we wanted to do. So we're back, and we're going to try to put them out on a more regular basis for you guys. And so today, we're going to roll the dice and see what we're going to make. And 48. So 48 on... Uh, in the cookbook is going to be hogs in bed rolls. It's under the halfling section and uh, I'm gonna read here what it says Few things put a spring in a halfling step quite like the buttery sausage scent of freshly baked hogs in a bed rolls waiting wafting through the village As curious as they are resourceful halflings have a knack for creating new culinary combinations of things They love to eat in this case savory sausages and flaky pastry Diminutive smoked pork and beef bangers are snugly rolled up in salty dough bed rolls until their heads are poking out. The expert maneuver is to brush these little snacks with a thin egg wash before popping them in the oven, ensuring a glossy shine and a boost of color. And, a, and slathering them in butter once they are cooked is truly a tasty touch. Hogs and bed rolls might just be the perfect finger food for any sized halfling gallery. So with that being said, we're going to jump into the video and I'll show you how we make it. So first things first, we're going to preheat the oven. We're going to set it to 400 degrees. And then we're going to cut over to our workspace and we are going to put down some flour, lightly flouring the surface to prevent the dough from sticking. Not too much. And then we're going to use a uh, frozen puff pastry um, that you can get at any grocery store. You can see us being a little, a little ginger here. They're still a bit frozen, but you can see it's still rigid. Uh, it defrosts really quickly, so we kind of unfolded it and let it sit for a few minutes, and that was ready to go. And then we're going to cut these into squares, uh, two by two uh, inch squares. We're using a pizza cutter. A pizza cutter is really ideal for this. You can see how easily it goes, and once we go to cross, we can just run down right the run down the entire row, across them, and cut them evenly into two-inch squares. Even though we're pretty sure these were two-inch squares, they didn't quite match the number of um, uh, francs that were in the package, so we did end up with some extra. If you're really particular about it, you may want to count up how many you have and kind of do the math to figure out exactly what size you should be making. go that's the last row and now over to the Franks uh, we just kind of put them in the middle and you fold up the corners and pinch them together now the one thing that we kind of learned through our mistakes is that uh, you really got to pinch the top of that together um, some of them were popping apart even before we put them in the oven we'd have to go back and pinch them again so you really have to make sure they're secure um, we had quite a few of them uh, unfold during baking so they're more like hogs on pillows than hogs on bed rolls um, so they didn't look the greatest when done but uh, I mean it doesn't really change the taste so uh, we ate them anyways and I'd say about half of them came out okay you just got to make sure that you really aggressively pinch that that uh, puff pastry together and you're gonna space them out you know, about an inch or so apart on a baking sheet because they will expand especially if they unfold. There we go. And now we're going to make the egg wash. An egg wash is nothing elaborate. It's just one egg. And a tablespoon of water. And then we're going to beat that with a whisk and com until it's combined. And 
All right, now that it's combined, we're going to go get our hogs and bed rolls, bed rolls excuse me, and uh, brush that egg wash across the top of them, being pretty generous with the, the coating. Um, you don't have to be real ginger with it. You can see we're kind of making a bit of a mess. And this just gives it a nice, you know, golden brown color. Doesn't, I don't really think it does much for flavor, but it just generally looks better when it's done. pop them in the oven and that oven is set to 400 degrees and we're gonna put them in for 17 minutes we're gonna give them a quick rotation once about halfway through and then when they come out as you can see here quite a few of them burst open um, again make sure you pinch them nice and tight and uh, yeah so that's pretty much all there is to this recipe it's a real easy uh, recipe you can uh, Put it with some barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, whatever, you know, in particular. Here we, we used a few different ones, so we had some dunking options. And these were delicious. I mean, they're, they're pigs in a blanket. Who doesn't like hot dogs? Uh, it's a great one to do with your kids. It's real simple, real quick. Um, it was a nice one for us to kind of get back into the flow of things. Because it was so simple and easy, uh, I would highly recommend it for your gaming table. It's a great shareable, you know, pass it around the table, everyone can have a couple. And like I said, they're very simple to make, and yeah, I would definitely make them again, and uh, you should give them a try. And that's it, and we will try to bring this to you far more frequently than we have been uh, in the past year. But, uh, you know, things, things were what they were, and hopefully, you know, everything's on the rebound. And we'll see you guys again next time, and when the dice tell us what recipe we're going to make.